Hold up. What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Rival Kingdoms video and I was actually doing this uh, this video pretty much live and unfortunately the, my mic kept cutting off and it was really annoying and it usually does that during live commentary so I couldn't do a live recording which really does uh, kind of get me mad since I couldn't do that but in today's video I guess over commentary when I do it not live the mic seems to be better so I'm not sure what's going on maybe it's Delgado's fault or my mic's just not working when it's doing live commentaries because it was skipping a lot and I didn't want to I didn't want that to be part of the video but anyway in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit of the kingdom so uh, one big question I've asked is how do I upgrade the kingdom if you guys do play this game I have no clue how you upgrade the kingdom just yet I've been uh, pouring a ton of money to my farm and my um, other uh, kingdom buildings just pouring money and just upgrading it so as you guys will see right here I'm just donating as much as I possibly can because it's to get the kingdom better and I get loyalty points which is basically like experience points but if you guys do play this game I really want to know how you get I mean how you upgrade the Fraggle Kingdom somebody told me before but I forgot it so yeah that's pretty much it but yeah I've been pretty much kind of upgrading I don't get on rebel kingdoms too much but I do play this game pretty often at least uh, more than I actually play boom beach I play boom beach less than this yeah surprisingly even though it's by supercell um, boom beach is a fun game but this game's a little bit more fun but I do cl play clash the most as obviously my channel is about clash but I do want to post you know sometimes other games just besides clash um, usually when I do post rebel kingdoms video there is usually a clash video that day as well so it's not just a rival kingdoms channel it's like 95 percent uh clash and five percent rival kingdoms but i do like this game and i've been talking to the developers of this game too and that's this game is pretty uh i really do like this game so i was gonna press sword league battle because i didn't know what it actually was but i've actually fought kingdoms before and it's just it's just gonna take me to the kingdom in a second and for a sec I was actually doing this live commentary and I remember saying here I don't think I can take this player down because I'm stronghold four uh, well it's not this one I can take this building down sorry guys not this is um, I later in the video I'm gonna be doing actually a raid and this kingdom was pretty easy to take down so I was like you know what let's go and take this one down so this is by Eric Erica Vaughn 13 I believe maybe it's a she or a he i'm not sure and the kingdom this player is in is hero so i get five loyalty points and uh i think i get five ring points i'm not sure but i do have uh requested troops i didn't know what the requested troops was because uh that was my first this actually was my first time using uh troops donated by my kingdom if you guys want to join my kingdom it is proud youtubers just like my clash of clans clan but there is only one lord which i'm gonna have to talk to the developers because it's kind of ridiculous having one lord and there's a lot of people that want to join my clan but my sometimes our lord isn't even on that day or maybe on but not accept anybody so i hope there's hopefully there's more than just one lord uh, to start out that would be pretty cool and a nice feature in the game but i'm not complaining this game's still fun i'm just kind of having a little bit of uh kind of update that having more than just one um, what do you call it lord to accept people but anyway I'm gonna be taking this base down pretty easily I'm just gonna be uh, throwing arrow strikes and it's gonna be pretty easy overall so pretty much no matchup here and I've been actually upgrading my troops I've been upgrading my tier 1 troops as the archers and the barbarians I'm not specifically sure what the troop names are I'm just gonna call them barbarians and archers <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I've been upgrading the lowest tier troops and yeah, I get five loyalty points. I'm not sure what the other five stands for But uh, let's see I'm gonna go back to kingdom here and uh, Yeah, I'm just gonna check those are loyalty points and I forgot what those um, what the swords meant, but I think I'm gonna go battle a person right here so this is where I was on a win streak six and usually when I'm up there, I usually lose against other people. So we're going to see and find out what happens here. 
So the person I'm going against is called Noah Lee Gagan from Noahville, France. And let's see if we can take this player down. And I was like, in this video, I was like, no way. There's probably no way I would even uh, touch the stronghold. But you guys are going to be surprised. And I guess I should never underestimate my uh, troops. But I seriously never thought I would actually even uh, get this player. So right here, I was kind of hoping they would break that wall and go straight inside the stronghold. But unfortunately, half of my troops go on the outside, which was a pretty big problem uh, for this raid. But... Actually, the good thing about this is the archers take care of the that expo right there. They destroy that. That's one less defense to uh, kill my troops. And basically, from this point on, I knew I was going to get the stronghold. And actually, I do a little more than just destroying the stronghold. I actually pretty much completely smashed this base. And it was pretty awesome. So, again, I'm loving this game. It's so much fun. It, re it reminds me of, like, kind of... Uh, what do you call it, I guess? PC games like World of Warcraft, um, MMOs, I guess you can say. And this game requires iOS 8, so it's pretty heavy on your uh, iPhone. or I don't think it's out for Android yet. So um, hopefully you guys do enjoy these Rebel Kingdoms videos. If you guys are not here for this, uh, for this game, still enjoy my content. Um, I do post this once in a while. It's not like every day I post a Rebel Kingdoms video, but I do post on occasion. Uh, mostly, again, I post Clash of Clans because that's what my channel is about. So if you guys are here for Clash, you don't have to guys watch this video. You can just skip and maybe just not watch. Or if you guys do want to watch this video, I really do appreciate it. And of course, these videos don't get as many likes or views as my Clash videos do, technically speaking. But it's still pretty fun and I love doing this. And just real quick, if you guys think I'm getting paid by... Uh, the developers of rival kingdoms i'm absolutely not unlike other youtubers are i'm doing this absolutely free and i'm not lying <laughs> i don't do games just for money at least i've never done that so far before i played this game and record videos because i just want to entertain people who want to have some tips and just you know kind of videos that want to watch and this is actually bj can dive meet admiral lee and that's bj can dive I wish my channel would show up in one of those cards. That would be cool, but I doubt that's even going to happen. But I'm going to go to my battle history right here and show a defense. And this was one of the closest defenses I actually managed to uh, win. But unfortunately, I still lost this raid. But it was very, very close. So it looks like this player is going to be de deploying a dragon up on top of my base. And what was kind of tricky about this base, I mean, not this base, this attacker is the attacker actually spawned troops inside my base which i do not know how he did that i'm gonna guess probably because of this dragon when it died but i'm not sure exactly so it dies right there um maybe not you know i'm not sure actually because i don't have any really gaps open i'm gonna have to redo my base but again i did not believe when i was making this base i had gaps in my base or where troops can spawn unfortunately but yeah Anyway, my defenses are going to be killing these uh, troops pretty quickly. And I was kind of uh, pretty mad that the troops on top destroyed my stronghold. And I think this player had a ton of troops. I think he deployed the rest in a second. I think, yeah, there we go. He deployed. So, obviously, I think this player was a little bit more than str stronghold 4. This was a stronghold 3 or 4 that was attacking me. There was no way this player would have defe defeated me. I can guarantee that because he deployed, I think, four waves of troops, if not, if I'm not mistaken. And there's this only um, lonely, I believe, I'm not sure again what the troop is called, but basically one troop still alive and just destroyed my base. So I was kind of frustrated because of that. But otherwise, that was my first defensive win. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. That's pretty much it for Rival Kingdoms. Make sure you guys do share this video and maybe share it on Twitter and tweet it at Rival Kingdoms. Um, I've been talking to the developers a lot and stuff. So anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you could smash 40 likes, that would be amazing. And if you had 40 likes, that would be awesome. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.